the question now is what can we do to make this resilient how do we make this resilient well here's another question before we ask that is this microservice architecture resilient whatever we have over here is this resilient is this fault tolerant well to be honest it's not we haven't done anything to handle faults we don't even have a single catch block here right so we don't even have a try catch we are not handling any errors at all this is probably like the worst fault tolerance you can get which is great news because in a fault tolerant workshop you need to start from the scratch and add stuff so this is a good launching pad right so this is the worst fault tolerant system you can create in microservices we have one instance of each microservice and no other handling no fault tolerance no resilience nothing of that sort so if one of these services were to go down the whole thing goes down, right? So look at what the movie catalog service is doing. It's making a call to one service, getting the response, using the response to make a call to the second service, putting all that together and returning the response back. So if either of those services is down, the movie catalog service is down, right? So it's, it's not fault tolerant. So how do we make this resilient? Before we look at how to make things resilient, let's look, about, let's look at um, what are the issues with microservices that you can face, right? It's important to understand what are the problems that you can face. What are the things that could go wrong with microservices? Let's look at one scenario. Scenario one, an instance goes down. It can happen, right? You have a bunch of microservice instances. One of those instances goes down. What do you do? You can uh, handle the instance going down, you can prepare your architecture so that even if the instance were to go down, you, um, you work around it, right? So let's take this example. Let's say the rating service were to go down. What do you do? What can you do to handle this? The solution should be fairly obvious. You just run multiple instances, right? So if one service goes down, you don't want the whole application to go down. So one way to solve the problem is create duplicate instances. So you can create a bunch more rating data service instances, run, have them run on different machines, have them run on different ports on the same machine, which is not recommended, but it's, uh, it's a development environment setup. So you can have multiple instances of services running so that even if one were to go down, the others are going to take their place. All right. And uh, thanks to service discovery, you don't have to do a whole lot to make this work. You know how we talked about, if you've seen workshop one, uh, level one, you know how these things register with Eureka. When you create a new instance of a service, microservice, and say, this is a Eureka uh, service, it's gonna register with Eureka and say, hey, Eureka, I'm ratings data service, I'm here. Create one more instance, it says, I'm ratings data service, I'm here. And uh, the discovery service is like, okay, I got two of these guys. And it's gonna make a note of it. It's gonna register everything. And uh, the clients, the, there's client-side load balancing with a technology called Ribbon, and what it does is it does a round robin. If it sees more than one instance of a microservice, it says, okay, I called this guy last time, I'm gonna call this guy next time. So it's kind of like each of these clients has logic in it to handle equal distribution of the load. So having multiple instances is good anyway because you can share the load and have, uh, have it scale better. But then also, if one instance were to go down, the other can temporarily handle the load while either there's an automated system of bringing something up or you call the support guy late in the middle of the night and then say, hey, things has gone down, fix it, and that guy gets, goes up and fixes it and things come back up. Either way, you're not having the whole application go down because one instance goes down, right? Fairly simple solution to a fairly simple problem. 